Hi, my name is Eldar. Welcome to the second Helpers COVID-19 Hungarian Immigration Question and Answers video. We're here to answer the most important and recent questions regarding COVID and Hungarian immigration. Let's start off with the first and most important question. Has the travel ban in Hungary been lifted? Sort of. The travel ban has been partially lifted. The ban was introduced on the 17th of March and the partial lift happened on the 1st of May. It allows citizens from six countries to travel to Hungary for business purposes. The six countries are the following. Austria, Czech Republic, Germany, Poland, Slovakia, and South Korea. If somebody is not a citizen of the listed countries, they must apply for permission from the Hungarian police. And it is only possible to apply online and only in Hungarian. If you need any assistance entering Hungary and requesting permission to enter, our contact information is available below. How can I apply for a residence permit online? The Hungarian government has a dedicated website for immigration in Hungary. On this website, you can apply for anything immigration related, including residence permits. The website is enterhungary.gov.hu. If you're having difficulties with your residence permit application, or you would like to just have some assistance, please feel free to contact us and we'll be happy to help. How can I obtain a Hungarian social security number or a Thai number? And how long does it take for the card to arrive to my address? You must apply at your local NAC. NAC is the Hungarian shortened name of the National Health Insurance Fund in Hungary. You must go to their local customer service office, fill out the necessary forms, wait in line for your turn, have an officer look at your form and accept or reject your application. If it is accepted, it can take from two weeks to six months for your Thai card to arrive at your address. However, you get to hold the number within a few days if you visit the office again. Only the mailing takes more time. This way you will be able to refer to your Thai number in your labor contract. And once your employment is reported to the authorities, you can use your Thai number in healthcare. Of course, we also provide assistance with Thai numbers and Thai cards. Moreover, we can apply on your behalf with power of attorney, so we will wait in line if you are not able to. If you're interested, please contact us. Thank you for watching this Q&A video. We are happy to make more of these. So feel free to ask your questions below or contact us directly and we will answer your questions personally. If this video was helpful, please thumbs up the video. If you haven't seen our previous Q&A video, click on the card up there. And if you would like to see whenever we upload something new, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Stay safe and goodbye!